This is a sequel to the Sync Science Series 3 with the CD turbine and magnetic balls. Here I have a configuration with some magnetic balls and I want to look at the phenomenon of the rotation of the ball as it revolves around um, following the magnets in the CD turbine which we can see here by the way by removing this cover. You see the six magnets and how the uh, normally attracts pretty good on there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, buffer it a bit with this spacer plus the actual uh, Pyrex bowl and just get that reset up on that. Uh, there we go. Okay, now I can see how this the two little arms with the balls on there can act as a indicator to let us know when things are going around or revolving or whatever. Okay, fire it up, here we go. That's pretty cool. You can see how the ball is rotating at the same time that it's revolving. Okay, we'll give it just a little more throttle pressure here. You see the two arms have joined together on the uh, ball there. It still does the same basic rotational thing. As it's revolving, it rotates. Very interesting phenomenon. Okay, I'm welcoming theories on that one. <laughs> Okay, another sync science video here. I'd like to show the idea of the ball in a bowl. This is a magnetic ball inside the bowl, which is on top of the CD turbine, which is, as you can see underneath this cover, I have the six magnets which rotate when I turn on the control valve here. Get the rotational effect from the uh, water supply from the tap. Now I'll put the cover on there, and we'll put the Pyrex bowl on top. There's the magnet inside there. I put a saran wrap cover over the bowl as well to try to contain the ball this time around because I don't want to have any broken windows here or busted teeth. So, okay, we're ready to go. I'm just going to turn on the turbine. We'll see the effect on the ball. Goes around. It's, it's pretty relatively normal. This effect is very strange, however. I wouldn't exactly call it normal. This is a continuation of the previous effect with the strip ball in the uh, Sync Science number 3 video. Okay, well, that's an interesting effect. I'm going to increase the um, the water pressure now is to increase the RPMs of the machine. Okay, now it's doing a rotational effect. Okay, so now the ball is going to increase the speed a little more. Ah, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Of the rotation of the turbine. In 
pretty much the same speed as it was going at its best in the direction of the turbine. Okay, I'm going to slow the turbine down a bit and see what happens here. Okay, the radius is tightening down on the uh, ball there. Turn down the turbine a little bit more. The turbine's going slower, the ball's going faster. Interesting phenomenon. Turn it down a little more. transition zone here. The ball still rotating counter to the direction of the turbine. The turbine's running at probably 100 or 200 RPM or so. Now I'll turn it right down see what happens here. The ball's slowing down. Okay, now, it's, now it's hooked up with the turbine. Now we're rotating with the magnetic field of the turbine. I'll turn it down even more. Okay, there you can see the actual rotation of the turbine. Now, it's interesting to note, if you look very carefully, I don't know if you can see in the video, it's very obvious to me. The ball is rotating as it revolves around. It's rotating quite extremely. It's similar to the way the Earth would be rotating as it revolves around the Sun. I wonder if it isn't the similar uh, phenomenon that's involved here. Okay, so I'd welcome suggestions on that, by the way. Okay, you can see as I increase the, uh, increase the uh, water pressure and increase the RPMs of the turbine, the ball continues to rotate, and then it gets into this peculiar cyclic oscillation. There's a very particular curve to the um, to the series of inscribed circles here, part circles. Thank you. 